here with Salim, we are about to do the predictor. Yeah. And you do know, if you lose next weekend, it's a man New Jersey for you. Okay. For okay. me, I think uh, Spurs probably. <laughs> but oh, Spurs Chelsea. or Manu, Spurs or uh, Chelsea, Chelsea, I don't. And I told you, uh, what did I say? That I don't trust no Chelsea. Competition. They have no one. They have just, <laughs> they're just there. All right. But anyway, All right. we'll start off. We're not going to predict but one more Tottenham because the game has just begun. So we'll start off with West Ham, Southampton. Which team are you saying winning or are you saying a draw? Uh, a West Ham win. A West Ham win. Yeah. Well, here, I think I'll go for a draw here. Yeah. And my reason why yeah. is Southampton have been playing very good football of late. So I think they'll be able to nick it. And West Ham are a bit 50 50. You don't know what to expect from them. So for West Ham, Southampton, I've gone a draw. You've gone for West Ham. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Fulham, I think here will agree on uh, the same thing. Yeah, I think Wolves will make a meal out of Fulham because Wolves on their day, they, 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 they are something special. And then again, Fulham already relegated, yeah. so they have nothing to play for here. They, the morale is completely gone. I'll also go for Wolves on this. I think they have something to fight for. They're fighting for that uh, seventh spot. Fulham yeah. already gone. I think Wolves will make an easy one of Fulham. Cardiff versus Crystal Palace. Um... Mind you, Crystal Palace have picked up more points away from Absolutely. home than at home. Absolutely. Even Winfred Zaha said they, they are much more comfortable playing away from home. But then again, it's, 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 it's a touch-and-go kind of situation because we, we talk about Cardiff. They are right into that relegation battle. Yeah. And bearing in mind Burnley lost yesterday against Everton, Everton, they might just want to either collect maximum points or even a point might just suffice it today. You're going for a draw there. I think uh, I'll also go for a draw. draw. So we've only, we've only deferred so far in one game. That's West Ham Southampton. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Newcastle over Liverpool. <laughs> should I go first in this one? You should go first. Something tells me that it's been written in black and white that Benitez will be the team who will be the manager to, to just end Liverpool's hopes of lifting a title. I don't know why. I just see him derailing Liverpool. Yeah. And uh, I'll go for a draw in that game. Um... <laughs> Same here because I, I really have a bad feeling. Bearing in mind that Newcastle play with a back five, and yeah. you, you, you've seen against uh, when Liverpool are playing against Leicester and West Ham, they find it very difficult to, to, play t to break down teams that are so defensive. So for me, I may, I'm, going for, I'm also going for a draw. You're also going for a draw. So yeah. we've only deferred in West Ham, South, West West Ham, Ham United Southampton. Southampton. Wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> On to Sunday. Chelsea, what for? Tricky fixture for Chelsea. What for? No, not easy. Yeah, bearing in mind Troy Dean is back, Gerard Delofeu yeah. is back, so it's not going to be a walk in the park for Chelsea. But then again, Chelsea, uh, bearing in mind, maybe they have the hopes of winning the Europa League so that they play in the Champions League next season. But you can't uh, do such a stupid uh, arithmetic. And they're not winning the Europa League. Absolutely. Anyway. So I, but I think uh, with the quality on show, on, on the Chelsea side, I think when Hazard comes to the party, they will be, they'll beat Watford. You're you going for a Chelsea win. Yeah. I don't see Hazard coming to the party here. I see a draw <laughs> for Chelsea right. against Watford. Huddersfield, United, your rivals. Um, I was but I know you don't even care about them because they are so useless. <laughs> but anyway... But, but then again, I'm, 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 my, my girlfriend is a, is a huge fan of, of Paul Pogba, so she really likes Manchester United. So for this one, I'll go, you go for United. the same way she went, and I'm saying United's win. Huddersfield, they're already delegated. Absolutely, absolutely. United, no. easy. United win. Arsenal, Brighton. Hmm. Let me start here, given that I'm an Arsenal fan. I don't think Arsenal will have too many problems. They are at home. Their away form is what worries me, but here they are at home, given yeah. what they did to Valencia. Absolutely. I think it's an easy win for Arsenal. Uh, but then again, uh, but they, they might not have it their way. They might just nick it at the last minute because we know Chris Hutton's side, they are so defensive and they stay compact. And bearing in mind, they're also they're fighting. Not, they're not safe yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're yeah. also fighting not to be relegated. They'll just give a fight for it. So I think, and Arsenal again with the, with the, with the, with the midweek hangovers, it will just be tough. Maybe if the likes of Aubameyang again uh, surprise us, maybe they may just take a win. So I'm going yeah, for, for an Arsenal, Arsenal win. Yeah. Now let's go to your boys. They play on Monday night, of course. A very, another tough game. Brendan Rodgers has Leicester City playing some good football. I'll let you go first in this one, since uh, uh, you're Pep's, a uh, fan of Pep's boys. So, uh, of course, you're going to go for a City win. Yeah, I know you'll disagree <laughs> with me, but uh, bearing in mind Leicester play that open kind yeah, of football. Play, it might just play right football. into the hands of, of Man City. And I think, for me, I can say this for free all day, every day. Man City will Man City replace that part. I, I don't think I disagree with you, <laughs> given that City are at home. Yeah, I absolutely, think, uh, absolutely. I think, though you've said Leicester play open football, yeah. I think it will play into the hands of yeah. City. I see a huge scoreline, probably a 4-0 or a 4-1. Yeah. yeah, so I'll remind you about the predictions. Yeah. I'll bring, put, put up the video next 6-7 <laughs> and we see who Ooh. will have gotten most right okay. now.